look and um, please keep watching I've done my brows off camera because correct is a good one okay so I'm gonna start with my Smashbox photo finish primer because I love it as I've said before it really minimizes pores and like who doesn't want some of that on their face oh I look crazy on camera right now I got a new camera and it's like really wilding out like it's so cool but so high def so like right now <laughs> i look local all right so once that's smothered on your face i'm gonna take my tinted tinted this so i'm gonna pop some of that on, on my hand i usually use quite a lot because it actually makes my foundation go on a lot silkier i don't know why but it does so <laughs> oh Oh, so I'm just, by the way, this beauty blender is down. Major key. And I'm just scrub a dub dub in that on my face. Let's get our ears too, shall we? Crazy. Okay, so next I am going to take the Holy Grail Mars Foundation in Santa Fe. And then I mix it with the Bourjois Healthy Mix. Now I had this issue before. I don't know what color it is, guys. This one. I really like the formula of the Bourjois Healthy Mix, but it came a little bit light. Man, that's okay. We're gonna make it work. Okay, so now we are going to move on to. Now we are going to move on to concealer. Another holy grail. No. Creamy concealer in. Vanilla. I love having a viewfinder. Wow. And, and I'm also going to. Yeah, I'm also going to get my. I don't want my eyeshadow looking all dusty. Wow. Just gonna blend this through. Once you've blended that out, um, what I do is I use Fix Blues just to um, make the foundation look dewy and fresh. Hit. <laughs> Vibrant. Okay, guys, so once that is dried upon the face, I take um, my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I tap it like so. And then I just set my foundation. So next I'm going to take my contour kit um, in light to medium from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I am going to take the um, yellow powder, the banana powder. Again, tap off the excess and then just go over where I put the concealer to kind of highlight those parts of my face. And now I'm going to take the... Um, the pink one, I'm taking this, and I am going to, same thing, so, yeah. Okay, so, once I have done that, I'm going to take this flat um, brush from, I think it's bam Bamboo Brushes. Do you mean my? Switch that off. For my cheeks, I take the slightly lighter shade and then I do mix it with the um, slightly darker kind of caramel 
shade on the on this one because I like quite a defined contour. Next, I take my angled brush. Hello. And I take all three of the colours down the bridge of my nose. And I like to get it quite thin, the lines. Um, so yeah, once I've done that, I kind of do it all in one, I'm not going to lie. So then I go to the temples on my head and just make sure that that's nice and bronzed. So can we just talk about how miserable the weather is in England? It's literally August. I hate it. So now I'm going to just do my cheek. Button. I'm going to do my... What is that called? Drawline. Drawline is what I'm doing. Because I don't have one. So let's do this. Beautiful. Oh man, how do people film these with a straight face? I can see myself and it's tr tragic. So now I'm just going to blend this all out with a different beauty blender. Okay guys, so once that's all blended out, I'm going in with my Kiko um, translucent powder. First I'm going to take it down the bridge of my nose, like so, and I get my forehead a little bit. So once that is finito, I am taking um, some tape, because you know I love my angular eyeshadow. Sharper than Mulan Samurai Sword, let me tell you. Okay, so now I'm just going to do my eyeshadow and I'm going to zoom you in. Um, I'm going to take first the Modern Renaissance Anastasia Pavlet. Pavlet. <laughs> and I'm just going to take the shade Tempera. I'm taking the Stila Dancing with the Stars palette. I don't know if they still have this. Um, I got it as a gift, so I cannot tell you when I got it, but it's really cute and it has good like transition shades. So I'm gonna take um, this kind of shade here. Can I do this one? And I'm just gonna take that one on the crease of my eye. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna grab the um, Modern Renaissance palette again because I want a slightly more um, caramel Thank you. I'm going to take raw sienna from that palette and just blend it through with um, that shade from the Stila palette. Okay, so once that's all done, um, I'm going to take um, a slightly um, one of these brushes, just slightly more rigid, so that I can get kind of some definition in my crease. And I'm going to take Real Gar. Once I've done that, I'm just going to blend that out. So because it obviously looks a bit crazy right now, but I'm going to blend it out. Once that is all blended, kind of, it doesn't have to be perfect yet, like, because I go through and blend, like, repeatedly throughout this eyeshadow look. So that's gone. I take a flat brush, like this one, like a small kind of flat eyeshadow brush, taking red ochre, just, again, through the crease. I'm going to grab the shade. I'm going to take a Venetian red. And just tap off the excess because these are really powdery um, shades. She says, look at that full out. Can you see? Wow. What a freaking hypocrite. Thank God I have tape. Okay, just be kind of like light-handed when you're doing this stuff. Because it can very easily go wrong. <laughs> With just a blending brush that doesn't have anything on it. Just to get that kind of blended in. Okay, so then guys, I'm going back in with um, Real Gar. Okay guys, so next what I'm going to do is um, take, finally, Antique Bronze from the palette and just add a little bit of definition in that corner, make it a little bit darker. 
Yep. So once that is blended out, once I've done that, I'm gonna cut my crease. I take a, um, a flat brush of your choice. I'm taking this little bad boy. I'm gonna take the tape off because honestly, it just annoys the shit out of me in the bin. And, ooh, hello. I'm going to use the NARS, uh, just wash my goddamn brush. Damn a brush. I'm gonna use the NARS uh, cream concealer to do this because it's thicker and I love it. This requires a lot of concentration on me. So as I said, I just take that about three quarters. I'm trying not to look up. And then I'm gonna set it with um, the same kind of bone colored um, shadow that I did when I first set my eyelids. I love eyelids. <laughs> my eyelids. So once you have cut your crease, I then go in Bare Minerals um, Snowflake Pigment. This pigment, I'm not kidding you guys, is so beautiful. Ugh, it's almost depressing, it's so pretty. There's nothing in real life this nice. And I go in again with that Antique Sea Bonds kind of a shade. I just take a little bit and I just blend it out. Okay guys, so once that is done, I'm gonna take, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna brush off this bake. I think I was making a fucking gingerbread house for how long I've kept this on. Oh no. I'm gonna then go under my lash line with um, a little bit of color. So I'm gonna go back with the raw sienna under my lash line. Can you see that at all? And then I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go in with red ochre um, because I love red ochre. Bump me, ABH. Okay, so perfect. Once that's done, I was feeling a little bit fruity today, and I'm like, you know what? Let's just go crazy with the pigment. I'm taking this gold pigment. You know, you guys, I got it off of Amazon. <sighs> Silk and Fine Eyeshadow Fashion 2009. I'm going to take some of that in the corner of my eye. Perfect. Done. I then go in for eyeliner. I'm using the Super Liner by L'Oreal. I've never used anything else, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I have, but I've never liked anything else, so. This one, like a felt tip pen, it's so easy to use, and I'm their number one fan, so trust me. Okay, guys, so once you've done your eyeliner, what I do is I go in with all my contour and um, highlighting. So. I'm gonna take the, the Estee Edit bronzer, this one. So I'm just gonna take that on my cheekbones and kind of wherever the sun would hit. It's not over there yet, kids. Then I go back in with my um, ABH contour kit. Okay, perfect. So once that is done, I um, go in with a bit of blush just because I love the way blush looks with contour. So you don't have to use it, but I like it. So I'm going in with this really, really pretty MAC blusher. So I'm just going to go on with the apples on my cheeks. Mm, smile like this. Smile. 
I don't have a problem finding the fat part of my cheeks. <laughs> oh. Oh. That has come up very red on camera. Oh no. <laughs> Let me sort this out. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in for highlighting and I'm gonna take this little body shop um thing pop and I just kind of rub it on the apples of my cheeks again. Um it creates a little really subtle pop. Um but it's nice, like a honey and gold colour. I like it. So then I'm gonna go in with soft and gentle. Um, I'm just gonna drag a little bit on the edge of my nose, the tip of my nose, sorry. Okay, so then I'm just gonna go and drag this drag over that highlight that I just put on the body shop. Okay, then I'm going in with another highlight. It's the Color Star highlight, I just like, Oh, it's this one. I don't know if we can see it. Focus on that. Wow. Wow. Okay, and then finally I take another little pop of colour on my on my highlight. I love shit. So it's this MAC um colour in Sweet Illusion. Again, amazing. I am. Um, so I just take it really lightly on the, oh wow, look at that um, Then go in for my under brow highlight. So today I'm using this MAC, it's kind of like a creamy highlight. Um, I've been using it forever. I really like it, it's not too crazy, but it's also not really subtle. Um, I like it, I usually do not touch cream, cream eyeshadows, cream highlighters, none of it. But it works well under the brow, so I'm gonna go for it. Once that's done, um, I like to cut my contour because I like it quite sharp. Is that even a term? Like, can you call it a sharp contour? Coining it. I go back in with my um, translucent powder from Kiko again, and I just go under. I don't do a full bake with this. I only do it half cooked. <laughs> and then I'll just like brush it off now and dust it off. Okay. Boom! I, of course, add some fake lashes because real isn't good enough. I'm going in with my favorite, favorite Anitude lashes um, in Silly. Okay guys, so once you have applied your lashes of choice, I then go in with some lipstick. I'm just gonna dab some um, foundation on my lips just to make the lipstick go on smoother and also so the color color pops a little bit more. So I'm gonna be using the um, Maybelline um, lip liner in 680 Velvet Bear, I think it is. I can't read it. Um, I have overused that <laughs> a lot. <laughs> but it is so good, like so good. It's super like creamy and just really nice to apply, so I'll do that now. Oh my god, Reese is actually calling me right now. <sighs> Boys. Hello. Yo. Yeah. No. What's wrong with you? No, sorry, I'm putting on lip right now, I'm filming a video. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the oh my god guys. I mean if you don't know about the Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks get to know. So I'm gonna go in with, not that one, with um, Icon. <laughs> they are so nice and they smell <gasps> like cake. Oh my god that's so good. So I'm just gonna apply that now guys. Hey guys so that is all done. <laughs> Um, now I'm gonna just set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter and I set it with a lot of that. Mm. Mm. Alright guys, so this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, share and subscribe uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye!